I had a go yesterday at um, lifting this up with the uh, with the backhoe and uh, moving it around into position behind the shed. Actually drove around the block and down the um, the headland and a couple of things I found. One, this just doesn't lift high enough to lift it over the fence and then be able to drop it back down onto the pad. Um, so uh, the other thing is you know, we've had a couple of weeks worth of rain here and it's just a big swamp at the moment. Um, nearly got the tractor bogged out the back there yesterday. I don't want to get it bogged on someone else's property, so that's not good. Uh, so today's mission, I'm actually going to make a lifting jib that goes on the front of the forks. Um, I kind of had a strap over the very back of the forks and the other one at the very front of the forks. So it was just lifting it up square. I don't need to do that. I need a lifting jib off the very tip of the forks. Um, and that gives me a, a bit extra movement with the um, the crowd function on the on the machine. Um, yeah, so today's mission is to uh, make something to do that. And I'll also put a tow ball on it so that I can use it to move the uh, boats and things around the yard as needed. Oh. I don't know if you can see in the camera there. Big heap of uh, bush bees have made a nest in my uh, in my trailer. That post is probably chock a block full of honey. Anyway, these little bush bees they don't have a stinger on them. They're friendly bees, and they're tiny. Anyway, enough of the nature program. things it's not something I'm very good at but I'll have a go anyway <coughs> so my goal here um, this piece of section here I think that's about 125 through there it's wide enough the forks fit inside uh, with a little bit of movement with quite ease my plan is I'm going to split it down the center here and that'll give me my two halves to go one to go over each time of the forks uh, and then I'm going to weld a plate across the bottom of the two of them uh, and from that plate will be the hook underneath um, for the uh, for the lifting. Uh, I will tie, or not tie, I will weld another piece that goes across the top down the length of the tine to attach or as a stopper to stop it sliding down to the back of the tine so this stays out on the tip and that will also lock it in place so it doesn't fall off the tip. Uh, that's a rough explanation. Um, probably easier if I just put it all together and show you what I'm talking about. kind of coming together, you get the idea of the forks down the end there, uh, decided to add a tow ball to it for moving the uh, boats around the yard, I'm um, just about to weld all this up, <coughs> and a lifting hook on the back of it, or the underside of it, I'm thinking I might just use a chain, like I'll blank the ends off, 
so there's a camera. I blank the ends off here um, so that they can't slide further up the fork tines. Um, and then a chain from there up to uh, so from the end back to the, uh, the headboard of the, the fork. Welding the ends in, uh, just to hold that little plate in position. I'll just tap weld a little bit of scrap onto the end of it. That holds it in position while I get that tapped in place. And then I'll fully weld it up like that. So that's kind of it. Um, <clears throat> I've only just finished welding it, so it's still quite hot. Um, the plan is that slides over the end of the forks, a bit of chain through there up onto the headboard to hold it from sliding, from sliding off the forks, and I'll cap the ends off. Uh, to stop, stop it sliding down the forks. Um, I'll give it a quick run over with the angle grinder just to take off any of the nasty burrs and things and then uh, give it a lick of paint just to hold all the rust in place and uh, yeah that'll do. This is the basic design of it, the basic outcome. Um, I've welded the caps on the end so that it can't slide up the forks and the chain there stops it from falling off the end of the forks. Um, tow ball for moving boats around the yard. And underneath is the little hook, or the eyelet at least, that I can put a D-shackle through for, uh, for lifting. A couple of little things I wanted to point out with the design. Um, this design did change several times as I was making it. Um, I was originally gonna have a solid bar that went back to a stopper up at the end there uh, and it just got too complicated, too difficult. This was a much more simple design. Um, the way that's hooked in, uh, that allows me to take the chain off and use it for something else if I'm not actually lifting stuff. Um, I don't have that many bits of chain here so good to keep it multi-use. And if I change my mind later, it's all metal, I can cut it and reshape it and do whatever I want.
got to say, I'm pretty happy with that. That seemed to do exactly what I was hoping for. Um, as you can see, the ground is a swamp. Um, I'm not going to try and move that. No way, no how. I'll just get stuck and that'll be the end of it. So I'll finish the video here. Um, yeah, like I say, pretty happy with that. Um, that was just, uh, yeah, morning's work, I suppose. Um, it's mid-afternoon now. Um, but yeah, that was uh, very happy with that. That'll, uh, that'll make it a lot easier to get it over that fence out the back there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See ya.